This week on Dear Veronica, video games with Scott Johnson, what to do with that ancient iPad, and the art of not sounding like a fake ass faker. Welcome back to Dear Veronica, everyone. I'm your host, Veronica Belmont. A couple of weeks ago, we posted a poll asking for some video game suggestions for our friend Mosin. He needed to know what shooter to spend his hard-earned money on. It was a very close call, but with 38% of the vote, you guys picked Halo 5 Guardians. Coming in close at second with 36% was Call of Duty Blops the Third, followed by Rainbow Six Siege at 26%. Hopefully this helps you decide, Mosin. Thanks for writing in. Speaking of video games, we got a question in from Twitter user Steven Unsworth. He writes, Dear Veronica, if I get Overwatch on my PS4, will it also be available on my WoW PC through the Blizzard game list? I'm pretty excited for Overwatch personally, but I'm only intending to play it on PC. But I do know someone with both a PS4 and a gaming PC that definitely will know what's up. Mr. Scott Johnson, host of the World of Warcraft podcast, The Instant, and many other fine shows. Take it away, Scott. Hey, Veronica, I have a great answer for you. You wanna know if you can get Overwatch on your PC and PlayStation? The answer simply is no. I mean, you can, but you have to buy it in both places. It'll work just the way Diablo 3 worked on consoles. That was the Ultimate Evil Edition, and you could have that game, buy that game, and play that game, but only on the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. It didn't mean you automatically got it on the PC. So the same thing holds true here. If you want to play on both sides, you need to buy both versions of the game. One other important point, at least at this point, it sounds like you will not be able to play PlayStation players versus PC players or the other way around. They're going to be their own ecosystem with their own servers and their own player bases. So bottom line, buy both versions of the game if you want to play it in two places. That's what I'm going to do. Awesome, Scott. Thank you so much. You can follow him at Scott Johnson on Twitter and get all his podcasts and art at frogpants.com. Up next, a question that we all seem to ask ourselves every few years. What to do with this old obsolete gadget? Dear Veronica, my parents got a new iPad and want to know what to do with an iPad 1 stuck in iOS 5. I can't think of anything. From at P. Delante on Twitter. So at home, I use an older iPad as my recipe tablet. That way I'm less concerned about getting it messy and I can keep it on a stand near the stove plugged in all the time so I never misplace it. You could also use it as a dedicated video watching device, a cool digital alarm clock somewhere in your home, a locked down iPad that the kids can play with when they're visiting, or your bathroom iPad for reading things on the toilet exclusively. Finally, you might be able to donate it to a local school or community center. There is always a need for used working gadgets somewhere. Last but not least today, a very appropriate question for the ending of the show from at Mason Moody. Dear Veronica, is there a standard email closing that doesn't sound fake or insincere? I'm a fan of BEST, but Bloomberg had a whole report on why BEST is actually the worst, which I actually thought was stupid. They closed by saying to just not have a sign off, but that's not very reasonable in many cases. The problem with your question might be the standard closing part. Oftentimes I use thanks, then drop down to the next line and write in my name. Sometimes I just say V. It all depends on who you're writing to. If you want some ideas, look to emails that people have sent to you. What do they use? What feels right? If you do that, you won't come off as a faker, I promise. That's all for this week, everyone. Thanks for sending those questions in and keep them coming by using the hashtag Dear Veronica on Twitter and I will be eternally grateful. Best Veronica. Are my bangs crooked or is my head crooked? Oh, your head's totally crooked. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! This episode of Dear Veronica was brought to you by Go90.